uh, for me, I think uh, it's going to be an opportunity to amplify uh, those messages for the UK. And I can't really object having been a joint minister to uh, the teams working more closely uh, together. But there are three things that I've asked the Foreign Secretary to commit to. And uh, the first is that he will be a very strong voice for the world's poorest in cabinet. Uh, having that strong voice in cabinet for uh, the very poorest is, is incredibly important and he has committed to doing that. Secondly, I uh, have asked him if he will commit to continuing to spend at least half of the UK's 0.7% aid budget uh, on the poorest and most conflict affected countries, because I think that's where, you know, I've seen it make the most uh, uh, significant impact. And he's also committed to that. And the third thing, which is a pa passion of mine, uh, is uh, to ensure that we continue to spend on education, the 12, the campaign for 12 years of education for every child. I think that's how uh, we really accelerate progress towards the sustainable development goals and a, a peaceful, healthier, safer world. And then the final point I would make is as a, a parliamentarian and now a backbencher, that I do want to see a separate parliamentary committee that continues to scrutinise how we spell, spend overseas development uh, assistance as a country.